here we're being asked to add all of the numbers from 1 to 100. Now, that might sound like a very long exercise, doing 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, but you'll be pleased to know that there is a quick way. Let's have a look. So this is what we've got to do. The sum, the sum of n terms, so the sum of my um, 100 terms in this case, is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, um, and so on, all the way up to 100. But I can also write it backwards. So it could also be written as 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus 97, all the way down to 1. And what you notice here is that I can pair these up. So if I add down now, so the sum of the sequence plus the sum of the sequence is two lots of the sum of the sequence. And each pair here, 1 and 100, make 101. 2 and 99 make 101. 3 and 98 make 101. So each pair makes 101. So what I've actually got is 100 lots of 101. So 2 times the sum of the sequence is 100 lots of 101. And dividing both sides by 2, so I've got 50 lots of 101, which is 5,050. So we can write, we can um, add up arithmetic sequences, series even, very quickly um, using this method. And this method, it goes into a formula. So we're using L as the last number here. The sum is the first one plus the, the first one and the one lot of the difference plus the first one and two lots of the difference all the way up to the last one minus two lots of the difference, the last one minus the difference, and then the last one. And again, I can write that backwards. So it's the last one plus the last one minus the difference. Um, and so on, all the way back to the first one. And now if you look at every pair, you'll notice they're all A plus L. They are all the first one plus the last one. Like when before we had 1 and 100, it was the first one and the last one. This one is A and L. So in algebraic terms, the first one is A, the last one is L, and every pair is A plus L. So two lots of the sum is n lots of a plus l. So we've got n lots, however many numbers are in the sequence, n lots of a plus l. So what we've got to do to find um, one lot of the sum is to half it. So we've got the sum of the sequence is n over 2 times a plus l. And that's going to work for any one. So as long as there's a common difference, as long as it's that type of series, um, we can use this formula to work out the sum. So we can add up really quickly the um, numbers in the series. And then if I substitute um, my first um, equation, which you remember was un equals a plus n minus 1 D. If you substitute for L, A plus M minus 1 D, what you'll find is a new equation, a new formula we can use. So we've got SN equals N over 2 times 2A plus M minus 1 D. And we can use either of these two formulas to work out the sum of a sequence, the sum of a series. So we've got the formulas up here now. And we're going to practice. So given A is 3, D is 5, find the sum of the first six terms. So we don't know L this time, so we can't use the L formula. So we're going to use this one here. We're going to use this sum formula. So the sum of six terms, so the sum of six terms is N over 2. So 6 over 2 times 2A, which is two threes plus n minus 1, so 6 minus 1, 5, lots of d, which is, again, 5. So that's 3 times 6 plus 25. I'll go sideways, which is 3 times 31, which is 93. So really quickly, we can add up the terms of a sequence. Given that the sum of the first six terms is 24, and a is 9, find the common difference. 
Okay, so the sum of the first six terms, so sum of the first six terms is 24. A is 9, N is obviously 6. Find D. So again, I'm going to use the same formula. I'm going to put 24. The sum of the first six is 24. N over 2, 6 over 2, times 2 9s, 2 A's, plus N minus 1, so 6 minus 1. So 5 times the difference. So 24 is 3 times 18 plus 5 A's. Uh, we can divide both sides by 3, which is going to give us 8 equals 18 plus 5 A, minus the 18 from both sides, so minus 10 is 5 A's. Dividing both sides by 5, A is minus 2. Sorry, D, what have I done here? Right, <laughs> D should have all been D. D is minus 2. Sorry, that's what we we're finding out. Um, so D is minus 2. The, the um, sequence goes down in 2s. Okay, so here's another two questions. Pause the video and give them a go. Okay, the first one. So again, we don't know L, so we're using this sum formula here. So the sum of the first 10 terms is uh, 10 over 2, n is, all right, n is 10, 10 over 2 times 2a, two so 2 13s, plus n minus 1, so 10, 10 minus 1, which is 9, lots of the difference, which is 3. So that's 5 times 2 13s, 26, plus 9 3s, 27. So that's 5 times, what's this, 53? 5 times 53, which is 10 times 53, uh, 530, and half of 530, which would be 265. And secondly here, given the sum of the first eight terms is 100, A is 2, find the common difference. So the sum of the first eight terms n is 8, sum of 8 is 100, find the common difference, so 100 equals the sum of the first 8 terms, um, n over 2, 8 over 2, times 2a, so a is 2, so 2 twos, plus n minus 1, plus, so 7, n minus 1, times the d, which we don't know. So 100 is 4 times 4 plus 7d, uh, dividing both sides by 4. So 25 is 4 plus 7d. Take 4 off of both sides, so 21 is 7 times d, so d must be 3.